This is nice, Henry. Isn't it? I think it's amazing the way restaurants have changed in this country over the last 20 years. Yeah, I mean, what with gastro pubs and all bar one, things like that, it's just so easy now. Are you ready to order, sir? Sorry, mate, um, haven't really had a look yet, but, um, can we order a bottle of the house red to be going on with? Mate, the house red to be going on with? Where the hell do you think you are? Sorry? Do you even know what the house red is? Are you even an expert on wine? Because if you're not, I don't know on what basis you venture to order it. Sorry, what happened to the friendly Australian girl that used to work here? She's gone, sir. They've all gone. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> the incredibly posh people who are still unaccountably waiters. <laughs> I'm afraid we've changed the rules. Well, we'd still like to order. I saw you in here last week. I saw you drinking your soup. I saw you blowing and slurping and dunking your bread. We were watching you on the monitors in the kitchen. And we all thought you were a dick. I can't believe you talk to paying customers like this. And I can't believe you're continuing with this. You know that I can destroy you. Observe my trolley. These are my weapons. Am I recommending the consomme, which, as every schoolboy knows, provided your school wasn't free, is to be consumed only using a vichyssoise fork. It's all in the wrist. And for sir, crab, which you're supposed to tackle using this. Make sure you kill it right, or it's poisonous. Off you go. You're not allowed to swap. <laughs> my, my, it's like watching the Generation Game. I expect that's a reference you get. Right, I've had just about enough of you talking to me like this. I'd like to see the manager. How can I possibly introduce you to the manager? You haven't shaved, you're not wearing a tie, and you hold your ladle like a pen. Now take your gaudy but gratifyingly mute girlfriend and get out.